New Zealand's Dizzy Gillespie and can he send himself to those kind of heights? 303 for 8, 44 from 31. Johnson, another wicket. He has three now. At some cost, and he's got uh, Gillespie going away to leg, so he survives, and now you feel it is up to McCullum, really, a solo act. 303 for 8. Just a little bit of reverse swing. It was very full, but it just had enough time to kick up and carry. Johnson completes his 10 overs. Three wickets for 81. The 81 runs doesn't look good, but uh, the last half of it has been wickets. And he's bowled well when needed. Finished to spell off well. Brendan McCullum, he's a magical player and now he requires plenty of that. Push for two is the call, but the only one, so Australia, if they can't get him out, I'll get him off strike. That's the secret now. Placement of fielders inside the circle becomes very important for Michael Hussey. Those players are back on the edge when McCullum is on strike, but does he bring them up a bit? Knowing full well Gillespie's probably going to try and push to get McCullum back there. They hunt up a wee bit. Get in closer. Hogg and White, Hussey himself, Voges, key players in the inner circle. Oh, beautifully played. He'll uh, look for two here and they'll get back. McCullum won't be a problem. Gillespie's got a scamper. He ran an awful line, really. Made it a long way back. I don't know what he was doing here. Shovels it away on the onside. Not a bad effort. It's not a comfortable stroke for him. Saw the fieldsman had, uh, had to make some ground. Came back. The throw went to the right end. And then he started hitting towards the stumps. Thought he'd think he'd take them out before the ball could. Oh, that's beautifully played, and I'll get a couple more here. Just agonisingly past the stumps. So too past Brad Haddon. How close, how close has this gone? It was a, it was a leg cut, a slow pull, and it's gone perilously close to leg stump. Watson thought he had him, had him, couldn't get it. Two more. It's under 40 now, 39, 27 balls. Oh, that'll go for four. Outside edge. It wasn't a great delivery, it was an attempted Yorker, and those faces sort of outline that, don't they? They're not comfortable. Well, count, take him. Just got the edge in the way, and it was fine enough to go for four. <laughs> what can you do? Well, you've got to bowl it in the right place. Give yourself a chance against the tail end to back yourself. And again, again they might get two. Here Gillespie will come back. What a big over this has come from the unlikely hero. We all said that's got to be McCullum. Look at Fleming in the background. He just is, he's loving this. The trophy's in the bag, but they're putting the acid on again. Old tail end of French cut. He's just used the outside edge of the bat. He's trying to hit in the middle, but any edge will do. In Australia, they were anything but comfortable at this point. Surely they grab this one. Oh, that's solid. That's four. That's magnificent down the ground. It wasn't really there for the shot. 
What an over from Gillespie. McCullum says, hey pal, you're supposed to be helping me. What can I do for you? 3.18 for eight. Outside edge, inside edge, out of the screws. He got it, he got one, and he's a strong man and he smashed it. Wow! Could it happen? <laughs> look at the look on his face. Where'd you get that from? Now then, uh, 29 for 24. Uh, there's only one side starting to panic here. McCullum is on strike. And it's now going to be Tate and Bracken to close the deal for Australia. Two opening bowlers have to be the closing bowlers. Lots of pressure on Sean Tate. We know Bracken's handled in the past. Eight overs, two for 45. The length is the key here. You know it's going to be fast. Straight back down the ground. They'll have that covered, the Australians, but uh, McCullum gets back on strike. That's the key. That's great running. That is really good running because McCullum knows that takes his man. He's the man, the man that will go full and straight. He'll be looking to smash him away off that back foot, anything that's not a Yorker. But he knows the man at the other end, his bowling mate Gillespie, may struggle with the extra pace. He gets back for two. Uh, Gillespie's onto this in a flash. Direct hit even, he might have been in trouble, but he just jogged that last part. Here's Tate again. McCullum has hit it hard, but just for one. Hogg very safe. Now, Gillespie, can he do it again off the extra pace? 150 that. Back in number 10 to hit a 150k ball out of the park. Well, I don't think he needs it out of the park. He's just got to hit it. If he can hit it, propel it somewhere. Keep it out. Get back to the other end. Give McCallum three to face. How's Jeetan Patel feeling? <laughs> Isn't it a bowl for so long? How long since he had a bat? The chant goes up again. That was there at Eden Park, the Kiwi chant. His belief on the hill, his belief in the middle. Quack and he's got it away. Can you believe that shot? You can't coach it, it's gold. And he's got it mastered. Yeah, the edges are gonna count now, they're really gonna count. All he's gotta do is get some form of the outside edge or inside edge or any part of the bat on the ball. And he's done it. It wasn't bad, it was on target. He's just got down on it. the dressing room or the viewing lounge now they want to believe that one who needs a batting coach no coach in the world can coach that they have a problem now that was 152.8 it was right on the money from Tate 18 in no time Gillespie oh he jams that one out and gets off strike maybe they'll go for two they're gonna he's gonna have to scamper oh boy <laughs> It's, it's on, it's really on. 20 from 20. It's a runner ball and that's just bat on ball. Plain and simple. If these two or New Zealand can bat their sinnings, they should win this. They should win this. Just hit the ball, keep it out and run. Will Hussey bring his field up quicker than he did in the last game? He's still got a slip in. He's still looking for that outside edge.